What is up guys, this is Jay here, Jay Media One, and today we are back with another product tech review. Today we got a really cool device. This is the DJI Osmo Mobile 3 Combo. This is a three axis smartphone gimbal handheld stabilizer that you can use to vlog, YouTube, do live video, and it works on your iPhone or your Android. You can just use this to make some really cool shots out there as well. It's very, very good at stabilization, I hear. So we are here to do an unboxing to check it out. And we're going to do that with you guys. So we got the D the Osmo right here. This is made by DJI, who we all know has a very good reputation. They are a proponent and a creator of the DJI Spark, which is a very good drone that is out there right now. So this is it. It comes in this nice white box. It's all packaged very tight. And if you look at the side, it says that it, you can get it on the Google Play Store as well as the Apple Store. And basically everything that comes in a box. So we are going to cut it open. And there is just a little tab on the top here that we got to get through. We're going to cut through that. <clears throat> yes, I do have a knife this time, which is rare. I'm going to get through the sides, just a little extra help. Sometimes I wish all boxes had the apple tabs but they don't so this piece will have to come off this way geez it's still a little tough okay i think we got the right so the plastic's always the hardest part right you get that off get rid of it and we already cut through the tab i believe so this should separate we can kind of pull it open this little fold open and we can pull back the flaps and inside the box there's a piece of plastic everything in this case is a separate box here and that's it nothing else <clears throat> get rid of that so let's start with this little box first because it looks interesting it's got a tab here it's got some flaps here as you guys know i always had to take the hard road when it comes to opening boxes but i think we're going to go with the tabs here and then we're going to open this and just kind of let it roll out. There's a bunch of reading material in here. This one's like a, a book, and that's thick. And the fine, super fine print. I think that's because it has every language under the sun on it. we got another small little reading material here. Talks about consumer law. Nothing else in the middle, so we're going to go straight for the side, and we see... First thing we notice is we have a USB-C cable, not super fancy or anything. It's about normal for a USB-C. So we got that, and it's kind of short. It's not, it's not too long. Maybe, I would say three foot. We'll go that route. Or one meter for all you Europeans out there. And we also got this little case, oops. <clears throat> There is a lanyard that I dropped. Got some plastic here. Well, that's nice. Comes with a little carrying case. And it's a nice suede material. It's got these two ropes on the side that you can cinch it up with. Little satchel. Nothing in that, but that's kind of a nice little feature. I'm gonna put that to the side right now. Oh, it does say, it does have an imprint on it. Osmo DJI. Nice, so we're gonna get rid of that. What else can I shove down the sides of these little things? We push this out. <clears throat> I think this is going to be the tripod. So yeah, this is a tripod, but this, man, this thing feels premium. It feels really good. I'm gonna open it up this way so you can see the nice feet on here. They're a real nice material. They're not just like a cheap rubber. They actually have some grip built into them, if you guys can see that. That is super nice. It's just, it feels premium. The plastic's super thick and heavy. And of course we have our typical tripod mounting screw. So we're gonna leave that there because I think that's it for whatever's in the box. Oh, it does come with these little, let's see. Anti-slip pads to secure the mobile phone in the phone holder. Okay, that's cool. So let me get this plastic off. Man, this case is even really nice. So it comes in a super nice case and it's premium material. 
It's got this little elastic strap around the back here. You can pull that out and see. It's nice and premium. And we have the zipper. So you can unzip and nice little carrying handle as well. And when we unfold it, we see this little piece of foam inside of here. Help, helps to add to the protection, but man, the inside of this is super premium and nice. It's like a super clean, nice felt. You got the silica bag, you know that. And there it is. And there's some more, a little bit more foam inside of here. We're gonna get rid of that as well. And yeah, this case is very, very nice, guys. Super premium, nice looking case, for sure. And there it is, and if you look on top, there's a sticker on here that says, press and hold record button trigger and M button simultaneously for one second to forget the Bluetooth device. Okay. Activate the Osmo Mobile 3 when using it for the first time by following the steps in the DJ Mimo app. Okay, and then it gives us a little QR code here. So we're gonna have to scan that QR code and that'll let us into the app. But this is just the unboxing portion of it right here. So you can see the little phone holder here. And that is spring loaded and it's pretty heavy. Those are heavy duty springs inside of there. Um, it actually tells you phone camera direction, which is kind of cool. It tells you to point it this way. So we don't want to really do too much here to mess with it because it's kind of formed this way. And all of these buttons on here, you know, we got the, the tilt and the wide, and then there's like a little finger button, like a D-pad, not a D-pad, but a uh, like a joystick right here to control things. And then you can see a little camera with a record button and then a power button here. And I just held the power button and it looks like it is powering up. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know if I should be doing this because it does specifically say to check the app to use it with the app for the first time. But just the way it looks, if you look at the bottom, there's a the little hole here we can screw onto the to the stand to the tripod. And that screws on there, and that looks pretty nice that way. And then, of course, if you want to use it as a tripod, you can use it that way. The cool thing about these stands is that they come all the way together. So if you look at it, it forms a handle and you can use that as well. Now, obviously this is going to be the best feeling grip. There's a little trigger button kind of hidden back here, you can see. And so what we're going to do is we're going to get the app downloaded. We're going to fire this thing up. Oh, there is a, there's a little port here and that's where your USB-C is going to charge. That flap's a little difficult to get off. So I'm not just going to try to pry it out, but Yes, that's what that is. And that does look like this sticker will peel off pretty easily once we follow the instructions and do what it says. So we're gonna get this set up and we'll be right back. Okay guys, we are back and we finally got it all set up. We went through the menu, we did everything that it told us to do. We downloaded the app and this is it. I mean, this thing is wicked. It is super cool. It's a stabilizer. And basically the first thing that it tells you to do, if you can see here, is it tells you to draw like a little square on the object that you want to focus on. And so we got the object that we're focusing on here is the PlayStation controller. But as you see, if, if I move around it, I mean this thing goes it fast, it'll steady it, it'll follow it in the frame. It's crazy. And then you also have the, the button on here on the back. It's like a little trigger and that'll lock it in. So you can lock it in with the button on the back. Um, you can also use the joystick on top to manually move it. You see here I'm manually tilting it. I can rotate it around to any degree that I like. Up or down. I can lock it if I hold it. If I double tap it, it lets me do some reset procedure where it'll put it right back into the same position. If you triple tap it, it'll start a photo or a video. Uh, it'll let you switch back and forth between the the main camera and it'll let you switch to the, the this thing's just crazy the way that it's tracking my face like I'm literally watching it track my face and I'm going to definitely be sharing this video with you because of the insanity of this if you watch how my arm moves to how it's tracking my face inside of this video 
it's really really amazing and this thing is just super super good at keeping everything stable this is a great thing for filming like a if you were doing like a selfie video or something if you were filming outside um, whatever whatever event you want to film this thing's gonna make you better there is no doubt about it this thing's gonna make you better this thing is insanely good at stabilizing I mean I could roll my wrist around which is actually zooming in on my face at this point in time and it's like whatever I'm gonna track it and go out as far as I want in as far as I want it's got me it's got me totally locked into the frame which is awesome and then of course you have the the ability to turn out the tripod and there we go so the tripod comes on it's tracking me the whole time this thing's moving I can go left go right back and forth it's, look at it. I mean, this thing's amazing. Boom, boom, boom. If you were doing some action shots, this is cool. This is good for B-roll. This is co good for all kinds of cool things. So you guys can definitely see. And, and like I said, I'm going to do like a side-by-side -side so you guys can see the, just how cool this thing tracks me here. It's really, really neat. And it's got all kinds of other features too. Like you can turn it off. You can turn off that tracking. You can... You know, have it track certain objects instead of just maybe just have it track your face like it's tracking my face right now. You can have it track objects. So, like, if you were watching a, a sports game, for example, or anything like that, this thing could be tracking, you know, the ball movement or a certain player. Like, say your kid's on a team and you want to watch just your kid. It'll track just your kid. And it's got this great spot here to charge. Um, it does have a USB slot up here as well but i haven't used that yet not sure exactly what it's for um but it does have that you can also zoom in and out on the side this little toggle lets you zoom in and out of whatever you're shooting and then you can manually adjust it like i said if i want to go down it's going to try to, to tilt back up because it wants to, see, to track my face and like i said that can be turned on and off you can switch both cameras and with this, like, sometimes you film with the back camera on the other side of the phone and you worry because you're like, eh, am I getting everything in the shot? But with this thing, you wouldn't have to worry a bit because the way that this thing tracks as well as it tracks, there's there's no reason to think that you're not going to get the best quality shot there. Um, so that's fantastic. I mean, the coolest thing ever. So... So let's talk about compatible devices. Um, compatible devices are cell phones, obviously. Um, the camera dimensions itself, uh, length, length, height, width is 11.22 by 4.92 by 4.06 inches. It weighs in itself about 405 grams. Um, maximum weight recommendation for this is 15 pounds, which is still pretty freaking tremendous, right? That's super cool. It is foldable. I love that feature. Um, it does have the you know completely foldable compact design that allows you to pretty much take it anywhere. It does fit in this box. Remember that. <laughs> so awesome. You can throw that in a bag. Take this thing anywhere you like to go. You never have to worry about it. Um, the three axis smartphone stabilizer is a must have handheld gimbal for content creators. If you're somebody that creates content, this is awesome. I wish I would have had this thing. A long time ago. It lets you shoot like a pro, pretty much. You got your own little cameraman sitting over here. Um, extraordinary to every day. You can share unique moments. Easily be creative with story mode. It does have a, like a little story mode, which I haven't dug too far into yet. But it does have that, which is kind of neat. Um, so a gesture is all it takes. You can snap a selfie or begin recording simply by signaling both the front and rear camera. It can recognize gesture control which makes shooting your solo travels and group shots a walk in the park. That is really, really cool. Um, seamless tracking, as you guys can see, it follows, uh, it follows like just a champ. I mean, this thing is everywhere. It's, and it'll go all the way around. There's no limitations here. And it goes down and it goes up. It's just, it's a great tracker. I mean, it's amazing. Uh, so it does have ActiveTrack 3.0, which is what recognizes people. It also will uh, recognize your pets, of course. Um, it's got super high move accuracy, 
Great for active sports like we were just talking about. Like I said, if you were at a ball game or something like that, you could also film things like your dog. Super simple to film because it will be able to track that. Um, you can switch the scene shot from any angle with the M button or the trigger. And that's this here. So the M button's right here and then your trigger's back here. And it, and it feels really intuitive because it feels like a controller, like a game controller, like a pilot stick, something like that. It just feels very intuitive. Um, you can make the most out of the quick functions. Quick roll allows you to flip from portrait to landscape in an instant, which I haven't tried yet, but that's a super cool feature. I mean, there's just so many things with this. It's like, I'd have to read a book or there is tutorials on it. There is tutorials. So I can't say that, but, uh, there is it's like a ton of features up here. Uh, front selfie, then selfie flip, then grid, then white balance. I mean, there's just all cool kinds of cool things uh it's got auto hdr so it does that i mean really really cool and then there's follow mode follow speed um zoom speed so how fast you want it to zoom in um and then you can tell it what to do with certain buttons awesome um it's, it's just got some really cool features guys this thing is super premium uh, portrait to landscape would, or landscape would be important because obviously we're not always trying to film four by three aspect ratio, which would be the, the straight up and down um, aspect ratio that this thing is filming in right now. So I'm going to have to figure out how to do that for, I use it for any kind of like B-roll footage or anything cool like that. Um, but super awesome, awesome device, guys. I would definitely recommend this if you are a person that likes to film anything. Literally anything. You don't have to be a content creator. You don't have to be somebody who's like a huge enthusiast into those things. Because this thing can be great for all kinds of things. I can just think of tons and tons of things that it could be great for. So I would say it's premium quality material. Everything about it is premium. It feels super heavy duty. It is not cheap plastic. I think this thing will last a very long time. And uh, definitely recommend checking it out. Um, <clears throat> if you guys like this video, make sure that you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel because that helps us to make more content for you guys. We will see you next time, guys. Later.